welcome into this reading if you have clicked onto it it is by no accident you are here because your spiritual team your spirit guides have guided you to be here and so you are finding yourself in this reading with me deborah thank you for being here let's get into this and get the messages out that you are meant to receive at this time um, I do think, honestly, from the card that I've just taken out here, that the messages that you are going to be receiving are pretty important. So, especially because the first card coming out is an angel number 444. So, let's begin and find out for you what is going on. And do remember, before we begin, welcome, first of all. But second of all, this is a timeless reading. When you get this in front of you, however you get it, this is your message. You're meant to get it at this time. So we've got a 444 coming in here and it's called I am protected. I am protected. This is going to be interesting to see where this reading is going. Um, trust your journey. Trust the way your life is unfolding and trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. So if you need to trust certain situations at this moment in time, if you need to be feeling as if um, you're, you're protected and safe, that could be a sign that there is quite a lot of different things going wrong or your journey in this world or even as of late, maybe over the past two to three years, has not been an easy one. I'm hearing Spirit Guide actually talking about um, somebody's journey out there. It could be you that I'm speaking to, um, that you have been going through an awakening or a spiritual growth over the past three to two years, um, you really have gone deep into what this is. You have um, learned so much. You're definitely on a spiritual journey. Um, you, that's why you're on my channel. There's no other way you're on Hedrich Tarot. My channel attracts a specific kind of energy. So you hear. Um, it's either a, one. Well, I know the people who watch my channel, so it's either a, you're a very old soul, b, you are something important, there's some mission that you have on this world, c, you're psychic of some sort, you're a tarot reader maybe as well, welcome, um, something like that, you have some kind of clear audience ability, there's some connection between you and spirit, okay? Um, that's why maybe you feel you need to be protected. It's almost like when you started your spiritual journey, things were not were okay, it wasn't really bad, or maybe it wasn't doing so well, it depends on your situation. But since you really started learning more, or started to raise up your vibration, it seems like you needed to be protected more from something, or being protected more from energies that were just going completely wrong for you. It's almost like you're wondering... And you know what I'm picking up on here? I'm almost picking up and there's no tarot cards coming out. I'm just feeling all this energy coming from you. I feel as if um, you know that everything you're learning and everything that you're understanding about this journey, about this world, about yourself, is the truth. It is the truth. And at the same time, you could be wondering, but if I know the truth and if I sense that my information that I'm receiving and my wisdom that I'm gaining or re-remembering um, is correct, then why isn't everything sort of falling into place for me? Oh, this is an interesting one. I can see where we're going here. This is interesting. I've taken the oracle cards out already. We've got Hungry Ghost. This is unbelievable to come out here. The hungry ghost. This is matching with it. I need to be protected. Obsessions. Scarcity, consciousness, and attachments. This is an energy of fear. Um, that's why it talks about attachments. That's why it talks about um, this kind of like obsession. Because when you're in fear with regards to something, you are going to become obsessed with it. Um, when you're worried about scarcity consciousness, when you, when you don't have enough, you will become obsessed with the fact that you don't have enough. When you go to bed at night time, you're going to be thinking about the bill or you're going to be thinking about the lack of um, the money or lack of food or whatever you may be worried about. When you wake up, you will be thinking about it. That is obsession. And attachments here, yeah, there's so much going on here. So much going on here. 
And I'm hearing spirit guides saying there's more than meets the eye. So that makes me very curious, actually, to see actually what's happening. There's more than meets the eye in this situation. This is so interesting. Okay, there's more than meets the eye. Look deeper. Okay. All right, let's go on the journey, spirit guide. Let's get the message out here. Show me, speak to me. Let me know what's going on here. So attachments to me. I'm going to see from the tarot, but I don't feel like this attachments are good ones. I feel like there's something negative with regards to these attachments coming out here. Okay, funnily enough, I've got this King of Wands coming out here. Very spiritual energy. The King of Wands is the out-of-the-box thinker. They are the creative people. They are the ones who do things that are so unique, so different. And it can also be linked to like spiritual awakening. Okay, so let's see what else comes up here. Justice card, spiritual awakening coming up here again. And a King of Swords in the reverse position. Okay, so we've got this King of Wands. I do feel like this represents you. I kind of feel like as I'm, oh, and I see something else. I see also a lot of things here. The crow here is enlightened, um, sort of giving you information through the crown chakra. We've got the snake showing up there as well. It's not negative in this card, or I don't feel it to be negative. I feel like the snake, usually the snake can mean different things. It can mean one of the main people would, energies people would go to immediately because it's very straightforward about the snake would be, um, uh, transformation, which does show up here as you transforming and gaining new knowledge here. But the snake also stands for spiritual enlightenment or spiritual awakening. Okay. There has definitely been a shift in your energy. We've got Libra in your reading. I feel like um, this was your moment of like no return. Um, once you kind of like had this sort of like shift in your energy, um, you left like almost like an old understanding. I don't feel like this is an old life. I feel like this is a shift inside of you. I feel like you left an old understanding about your thoughts or your beliefs about reality. And you shifted forward here when you got this information coming through into a new way of being and thinking. But then, bam, you know, boom. Yeah, rocks in this um, King of Swords in the re reverse position. So King of Swords, it's an one of my favorite cards is the King and Queen of Swords, two of my favorite cards. Um, King of Swords, very loyal, very trustworthy, very focused, very disciplined. Um, you can trust the King of Swords to do the job. Or you can trust the King of Swords with... A promise you know that's the kind of thing when this shows up in the reverse position this is a rapid change to the original meaning it would then come in as being the king of swords using the sword very harshly um to criticize to break down to use wisdom and knowledge for their own gain okay this is quite a big, big energy. So let's get some more, clar more clarifiers out here. I'm very, very curious to see what's actually going on in this reading. Um, I do feel like this is definitely your journey here. Um, I feel like something has been going on here. I feel like you um, are dealing with something here. And you may not actually be aware of it. One card slipped over. Look at that. We've got the Queen of Pentacles coming in there. On top of the King of Wands. I love that so much. That is perfect. Um, you put yourself first there. I feel like you put yourself first there. Oh my God. Okay. All right. So this is you. The Queen of Pentacles takes care of herself. Male or female energy. Um, she's doing the right thing for her own life. And for those that she loves. And I feel like at this moment here, yeah, I feel like this was you in a moment where you said, I'm doing this for me. I'm going to build a good life. I'm going to have what I want to have. And I know I'm doing the right thing. I still feel you do now. You may just be asking questions like, why are certain things happening? So now we've got this beautiful justice card coming in here. Showing that moment of change. But on top of it is the Four of Cups. It is like 100% aligning to what I'm talking about. It's like, yeah, was my spiritual awakening. There's a light shining around the cup there. 
same as the light shining around the crow, but why is all this going wrong? Why is my life not doing what it's meant to be doing? Because here I had this, the support of this tree here where I am, I know this is strong spiritual grounding. I'm rooted. I'm everything. But something is going wrong. And I'm not even joking with you. You've got a king of swords in the reverse position. I don't know how that got like that because I shuffled my cards um, with the ten of swords here. Could, this could be an attachment. Uh, the king of swords could be an attachment um, that's causing. Remember I said the king of swords in the reverse position uses the sword in a very negative way. And look at all those swords there. This can be one person, this can be different situations where people are doing this to you, or even just like a really, like bad luck, like it's been a very, very heavy past two or three years for you. Okay, and you're just tired, you're just like down, you're like, I'm done, you know. Um, don't be done. Do not be done. You haven't even got started yet. Um, what I know is this, because what I'm picking up from Spirit Guide, I've felt the surge of energy coming up inside of me, like, woo, you know, and that was Spirit Guide's way. That's when I said, don't be done. I felt it, woof. And um, you haven't even begun to understand why this is happening. And you need to know. This is very interesting. I'm just saying. Let's have a look at what comes up here. Lack. Lack. Loss, lack, fear, and victimization. And yes. Mm, okay. Okay, I'm just picking up something quite interesting here. I feel like you're dealing with something here. Um, that you are being put into this place because of your spiritual awakening. I just noticed something. Look at this person. There's an almost invisible owl on her shoulder. There's almost an invisible owl on her shoulder, which is the owl that I was talking about earlier. Literally, that's like the same kind of owl. Um, I feel like you don't know this, that there's an invisible owl on your shoulder. That's not a good one. Look, I love owls. They're so cute. They're so beautiful. They're so wise. Um, they've got a very good energy. But this is somebody who has taken wise knowledge and is using this knowledge for a very negative purpose. And they invisibly are behind you, affecting your life here. And it's interesting that it comes up like... She's actually holding like this very big smudging feather there, you know. So I almost feel like maybe if you're on a spiritual journey, you might have been trying to cleanse yourself or smudge out your house with um, lavender or whatever you're using um, to smudge out your house with. Um, you've been trying to do something to clear your energy, wondering what's going on. If you don't see the owl on your shoulder and you don't know what's going on, you won't know what to do. You have to know the problem before you can solve the problem. So this is going to be interesting to see what other cards come up here. Let's have a look and see. Yeah, knowledge, page of swords came up in your reading. Ten of wands to solve the problem of the ace of cups in the reverse position. Why is my ace of cups, which is your spiritual awakening, not helping my life? Why is it in the reverse position? This reading. Oh, yes. I actually took a couple of days off. Um, I was actually quite sick on, over the weekend. I'm going to take this reading out about on Tuesday. And I didn't record it with anything from Saturday, Sunday, Monday, the time I'm doing this reading. I was actually really ill. And um, I just said, you know what, I need to rest. And I'm coming in here, with a, coming back here, recording again. And I've got this, um, you know, I can see that um, there was messages that needed to be said because this reading is maybe one of the most powerful ones I've ever done, to be honest with you. Um, knowledge, page of swords, information will give you a sword to defend yourself. Okay? And it will put an end to this very difficult situation, Ten of Wands with the Ten of Swords that you've been experiencing. Okay? 
there's a lot that's going to come through in this reading. I can pick it up now because I'm picking up a lot of like um, things from my spirit guides that uh, they're kind of like talking about. And um, this is a very interesting reading. I, I'm, I'm noticing. Um, hmm, I'm noticing something. I'm noticing that they're being very, very cautious in this reading with me, specifically as to what I'm about to say. I think they're being very cautious because they're aware that this reading is uh, um, stepping onto dangerous territory. All right. Hangman card coming in here. The sun card and the star card. There's somebody or something blocking you from realizing your full potential here. It's almost like you, they don't want you to receive the hangman, the information, who's there. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm going to repeat exactly what Spirit Guide is saying. I'm going to repeat word for word because I know they won't give me anything to say that will be wrong. Okay, so I don't want to speak. I just want to repeat. Um, they are coming in the forms of many different people and many different situations. That's what they said. They are coming in the forms of many different people and many different situations. I can see where we're going. I know why they've been so cautious. Um, the hanged man, they are holding back your enlightenment, which shows up in the next card as a sun card, so that you do not receive this information or information that you actually need to be getting on your journey to enlightenment. And in fact, what they are doing is they are making your journey to enlightenment be held back. And become very uncomfortable. That's that's what's going to happen. Especially if you're a specific kind of person. And I think you are. Because they do not want you to receive the cup. Which is in the reverse position. To find out who you are. The star card Aquarius in your reading. And now my cat's crying somewhere in the background here. You see what I mean? So I feel like, yeah. Yeah, we're looking at a lot of distraction for you here. Instead of you being able to focus on what it is you're meant to be doing, there's a lot of distractions going on here in your life. This is your enlightenment journey. This is something going wrong. Okay. So to be honest with you, um, this can happen sometimes. Uh there's a, oh my God, do I have to, I, I know I'm hearing spirit now, not talking, spirit talking, and they're literally talking about certain things, and I have to be so careful, because I know um, what this entails and what we're talking about, so I'm going to I'm just going to say again what they said, word for word, I'm not going to have my own opinions or anything, I'm just going to repeat, there is a Council of Magicians. We have a great deal of power, but they are not good people. And they understand the power of things more than anyone else. And they run this world. There is a council of magicians. We call them magicians. Okay. They are good magicians. So if you're a magician, what's up? You know what I mean? But there is also this council. Um, I'm just going to call them the magicians. Okay, I call them the magicians because uh, magician is a tarot card and I talk about it often. So it won't get picked up very quickly. Um, so they are actually part of them. What they do is they kind of watch people who they, they know already who are these people who will make great impacts or who will... Um, who they may have to keep an eye on because there's a lot of knowledge that they have that they don't want the, the Knight of Swords, King of Cups and the King of Swords in the upright position to get a hold of, okay? Because they don't want that kind of change. I think you've heard me. If you've been here before, you kind of hear me touching on the subject. Um, so uh, I think they pick up on your energy, especially when this big shift happened inside of you. They did get that alert. And from that moment on, they're going to make it difficult for you. 
because they're trying to stop. They're trying to stop, trying to stop the full awakening that you can have because this is their biggest fear. Their biggest fear is the light in you. And so they will try to put it out for you. And they're going to do this um, in so many ways. They're going to do it in, it comes from different directions for you. They will usually look at what your blockage is. So say in your life you have health issues, or maybe you have love issues. You don't know, you know, you always had problems in love. Or maybe you have money issues or career issues or something going on with you. And what they will actually do is they're going to look at your weakness and they're going to pinpoint it and they do it very easily. They'll know immediately when they pick up on your energy. It's almost like they look at your aura and they can see the black spot and where your problem is. It may not be a black spot, but it can be like an off color or something out of vibration. And then they see it. They're like, oh, there's the open wound. And um, they will then poke on it and cause things to happen to you in that area of your life. So maybe you, you always have problems in love. I'm just going to give an example. It doesn't have to be your issue. Or maybe money or whatever. And then when you have this major spiritual awakening, all of a sudden, uh, the person that you are now in love with uh, starts to behave very weird. And um, you end up focusing for the past three years on this unbelievable crazy drama. And you don't know what the heck is going on. Why is this happening? And it's because that person you're with also has a weak point. And so they poke that person there as well. And if you're working, you've got a good job, you're going through a spiritual awakening, and then all of a sudden your job is just hanging in the balance all the time. Or you lose your job, you can't find another one, and you're like, why is this happening? It's the magicians. Okay. They don't want full awakening. That's what you must know. Because many of us who will awaken, um, when we fully awaken, because we never awakened, awakened. Uh, you know, your journey never gets to be there. You're always traveling to enlightenment because there's always another level from where you currently are. And um, the thing about awakening, we've been so brainwashed about what spirituality actually is. We've had this energy of spirituality. I've been trying to tell people about this for ages, which is we know about it. So the thing is, it's um, spirituality is not somebody living in a one room with a bed and a, and a book and a candle and one blanket and that's all the possessions are. Um, so if that's what you want, then that you can have. But spirituality is about being able to move this energy around you so that you can change reality. Spirituality is about being able to perform a spell, okay, and change and shift the outer reality because that shows you that you've gained this understanding and knowledge of energy around you to the point where you are becoming a part of that energy. And so when you do that, you may decide to not even manifest the stuff anymore because in the beginning the first thing people will do in the in fact the law of attraction it's totally witchcraft okay low-key nobody knows but yeah that was that was it um and literally um it's like in the beginning everybody's going to want to manifest that ferrari but not after that not after that especially if you're on a real spiritual journey you're not that's not going to be what you care about anymore you're going to start to care about the experience of life and living the greatest life. And whatever you think of in your mind, creating that. That's why you'll see people going out there and they're doing a lot of different things. And all of a sudden they're manifesting or they're focusing on uh, helping somebody who needs in need of help. Or maybe going to do something with the animals and like helping endangered species. And all of a sudden now they want to build a spaceship and go into space or something funny like that. It's because it's beyond that money anymore. It becomes the growth of life. And this is what they do not want. They do not want that. They don't want you to realize that power. Look at what we got up here. Look at this, um, Pallades. <laughs> Look at this people, right? Leaving this consciousness, raising their vibration. That's, that's going to be us. You, me, and everybody else watching this video. Okay, and a few others as well that haven't yet gotten to this reading. So, Palladius Energy says here, yeah, double mission. 
channeling and uplifting humanity. Yeah, something here. Excuse me, something here. Um, what, I'm, what I'm finding interesting, this usually does happen to channels. So channeling, so basically, sometimes when I'm in my reading, I may channel a little bit, but not to the point of channeling. I, I'm not like that. Usually I'm clear audience. So, and sometimes I can feel certain emotion at a specific moment and I'm like, or feel, feel a certain feeling in my body. Um, what is usually happening is I'm listening. I am listening to spirit guides talking and talking and talking and saying things, saying a, a sentence or speaking. And then I literally sometimes stop and just repeat it to you. Um, I'm clear audience. So I'm giving you the message, but a channel, um, usually means there is like a lot of like incoming energy coming into you and you let this take you over and you, um, you speaking, but it's no longer you, you step completely back and somebody else takes control of the driver's seat. Um, you could be a channel. You could be a channel. That's why they don't want this. You could, and like the way I hit my singing bowl at that moment, you know what I mean? Ding, you know, wakey, wakey, you know. So let's see what comes up here. I'm so curious. Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Cups. Mm. The Hermit. Oh, are you a very deeply spiritual person? Wow, it's only with my phone there as well. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is your destiny. There's a lot going on here. Um, there's something going on here again. Uh, we've got beautiful energy here. I love to see the owls here that are now for me in the upright position. The the and the knight of swords that we want to see here. I feel like you are meant to be doing something here in this world. It is your destiny. Um, that I do feel like they want to block. I see them also giving you a, a whole bunch of confusion here about who you are, what you are, and what you're supposed to be doing. I do kind of feel like you know there's something you're supposed to be doing here, but you're very confused as to what this is. I'm hearing them saying, pulling the wool over your eyes, creating this confusion, because the paths that you're trying to walk do not work. Um, all the cups that you've been trying to make happen uh, there is a real cup waiting for you there and they want to block that from you so that you um, don't see which is the one you're supposed to be taking. Uh, it's the one that's close to you here. And it's giving you a lot of confusion here in the background as to which one is the right one. It's that one. Okay. And it's close to you. It's very close. It's not far from you. You're very, very close to understanding. And you're going to come back one day and remember this reading and you're going to be like, oh my God, she was right. Or they were right. Don't say she, because I'm speaking for them. I'm speaking, I'm listening to them, I'm telling you. So right now, you, you're a hermit. Virgo, in your reading, um, you are very, um, how can I put this? Uh, isolated, very alone. But the hermit means spiritual enlightenment. You have looked within in this hermit card. But I feel like at this moment, they're asking you to really look within even more. Um, there's a bit of work that you need to do. Uh, you need to do isolating yourself. There's, it's okay at this moment. It's not wrong. Um, they cannot stop this. And you need to do the inner work. You need to do the inner work. I feel like you should be looking into channeling. Maybe you have, there's a, there could be a spiritual team or usually a channel um, doesn't work with one person. So a channel will work with um, a group of spiritual beings, uh, star seeds, Pallades, uh, star seed energy and start to give messages to humanity that needs to be given at this time. Uh, there is Messages or people waiting for your message. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. The hermit has come out again. Oh my God. The high priestess and the queen of wands. Yeah, you are this. Okay, you are this. Um, the hermit has come up again for you. Yes. You, are, you need to go within now at this time. Do whatever you can to gain knowledge right now. Do whatever you can to do the inner work. I'm always doing inner work. Even now, 
I'm always reading a book or I'm sometimes I read a book and I'm like I know all this already but maybe I meant to go over it again I love to get books like um books that kind of like it's not just information but they're task orientated so I love getting a book and then I read it and they say do this today or do that today or you know this is what you try this go meditate and do this today or go do this today put your focus there and that's what I love because I love to read knowledge with practicality. So I feel like this is where you need to be at this time. Even if it means you're not reading books, really go out there and start to find out maybe how to receive this channeling. Look at this as well. Look what I'm noticing here. You are on the right path. You are definitely on the right path. That's the same tree, the same background. You are the hermit. Don't doubt this. You are. You are not this insecure not knowing what's going on you are truly that that is your destiny so our magicians out there which i'm it's funny because i'll be honest with you i thought we were going to get a magician card in the reading and um we didn't and that was going to be a weird thing for me as well and i think spirit guide was like no we're not gonna um make it that obvious we're gonna keep it low key here so yes you are definitely that um you will be okay you are the high priestess, high priest, okay? You are the cup that's the closest to you. All of that other stuff in the background that's making you confused, don't be. It's this one. You are this, okay? You are high priest, high priestess. Uh, welcome, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, you are good. You're a good person. I'm just hearing Spirit Guy talking away. You're, you're a good person. Um... There's a lot of confusion surrounding your energy as well. I think for somebody out there, there's something going on with you where you may not feel like you are this or you may not feel like you're a good person because there's something that happened in your life here where you either did something at the time. It could have been something big or it could have been something that happened with a person that you feel such guilt about um, or a situation that you feel so guilty about. And that's part of that confusion. Um, it was almost like you were entrapped in a situation or you were put there. You must remember something as well. They can also do things to you on an energetic level, on an energetic level where you actually um, feel a certain way, where they can affect your energy to the point where uh, so they're manipulated very slowly by what you're watching on social media what comes past your feed, um, what somebody says to you in the supermarket, um, somebody cuts you off in, in, in traffic, and then all of a sudden it changes your energetic vibration very subtly. It's like they turn it, you know, and um, they can even send, this is, I'm going to tell you this, okay, you see we have energy that encircles our planet, um, there are points of power, and this, the energy that runs, you must think of it almost like currents of air. When you look at the weather forecast and you see the air currents like that, energy moves like that, okay? It also moves like that on lower levels where we are walking on the earth, not only up in the clouds. And so when this energy comes to you, oh my God, there's so much coming through here. I don't know if I should say this. Okay, I'm going to say it because they wouldn't have shown it, shown it to me. If you are here at the end of this reading like this, um... So the energy comes past you. In your home, it will enter at the front door and it will move left. So it will move left. It will come in. Mine, the front door is going to be on this side. So on the side here, it will come in. It will come in. There's another door here. It will pass behind me. Notice I've got my hamster hand there. Pass behind me here, my goddess figurine. And it moves through here like this and it keeps on going right around into the other rooms, moving all over coming back out and exiting your door one more time. Before that energy enters into your door, they can already adjust that energy. And I heard funny, I heard, uh, please, I'm not into conspiracy theories, but when they say something to me, I listen. So they adjust your energy. Um, one of the things that is quite prevalent that people will notice is like, um, uh, what do they call that now? Um, I'm going to be so, it's when the plane flies over. I don't know why, you see, I was, I literally had this in my mind. You know what I'm talking about, okay? Maybe I'm not supposed to say it. 
I'm blank. I swear to God, remove the word from my mind completely. I'm blown away, guys. Really, why you do that to me like this? So, you know, when the plane flies over and then it leaves this trail of smoke behind, I'm not, I know I got it now. I'm not going to say it. Maybe I'm not meant to say it. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> that's kind of like the ways that they manipulate this energy. What they put in there is not even like that kind of chemical that we think it is. It's mood changing. It's also the spiritual stuff in there. There's like um, potent powder. I'm hearing spirit guides say potent powder that they put in there. When it does come down through those energy fields, it adjusts them magnetically. I'm hearing. Oh my, this is news to me too. And so when it passes you, it, adjust, it also adjusts you magnetically. It's almost like nanotechnology, but it's spiritual, very spiritual. Um, you'll be fine. You're going to be fine because you're getting this knowledge. Um, Queen of Wands. Remember, we have a King of Wands. We started that reading out with the King of Wands right there. Queen of Wands is the last card out, the first card out. You will be fine. You are going to be fine. And I feel like you are going to heal yourself. I feel like you're going to gain knowledge. I feel like you're too powerful. This is very confident energy. Um, very spiritual as well. Queen of Wands is spiritual. And um, you might even be a, 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 sun, a fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. Or a placement there, especially in your moon or rising. Um, I feel like you're going to be fine. I feel like you're going to come out of this hermit energy and really show who you are. This person standing there with all that wisdom, with that... Uh, there's the moon there or the sun there and the eclipse energy, you know, all that kind of stuff happening in our world. And I feel like you are going to be fine. I feel like you're going to actually, um, <laughs> I'm checking under the jet because I'm so curious about this reading. And we've got the queen of wands here yeah, and saying you're going to be fine. And spirit God says, yes, you're going to be fine. Okay, so queen of wands under the deck as well. Can't make this up. This is just beyond my control. Um, the Queen of Wands coming in here. Um, you are going to be who you're meant to be. There's the crow giving you the wand, which you are going to be carrying. Okay. So interesting. I want to grab one more card under the deck here. Three of Pentacles coming in here. Your life will be stable. You've got to go on this journey. One of the, What I'm hearing Spirit Guide say as well is that you cannot... The only way to stop this is to learn how to channel it because there's specific like spirit guides. Um, I don't feel like this is your spirit guide that wants to channel with you. I feel like it will work through your spirit guide, this energy, this information, but it's coming from somewhere else. That's how it usually works. So the moment you actually begin to get that information into you and you begin to word it out, that's when they can no longer get to you. Because that's when spirit is allowed to you and they have that access to you. Now they don't have access. Once spirit gets access to your energy and you, are, you give them, you grant them, you're like, protect me. You know, I am protected. You know what I mean? You're going to be good. Oh, you're going to be good. They're going to protect you. And um, that means they want to talk through you. They want to send messages through you. And the moment you open that YouTube channel, you go on to TikTok, you do what you need to do, you write your book, you do whatever it is you're going to be doing, you start to speak, you do whatever it is. Um, that's when the, the channel opens in you. When the channel opens in you, that's when all that protection can come. And that's just when they lose the complete power. They lose it completely. I'm so curious. I'm very curious about this reading. <laughs> Answer the call. <laughs> Answer the call. We are waiting for you. What is your soul calling you to do? It's like they want to speak to you. Can you answer the phone? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it. That's it. There we go. I hope you understand better. Um, carry on doing all the protection around you. Be aware now. You see, if we don't know what's going on, because we may be thinking that it's my ex causing me a problem, that it's that person, that it's that government, that it's the, the econ economy, that it's my country. It's none of those things. It is the magicians. 
and they will get to you in your weak point the thing that will irritate you or the thing that's your what what is not okay with you they will get it get you, you through that point so if you've got a person who like hates their country or hates their government they're going to get you that person on the spiritual awakening through the government or through the what's happening in the economy and then they're going to cause havoc there so now that you know what's happening here and you're aware answer the call do some more digging, going a little bit deeper in. You're very close. It's not far. It's right here. Maybe it's already knocking. Maybe it's waiting outside the door, just going, open the door, answer the call. We've already been calling you. And um, there was another video I did. I think I'll link it over here. I think it'll be here or here. Well, somewhere here. Um, called, what is the ringing in your ears? And I'm hearing it right now. Um, if you're hearing the ringing in your ears, there's a message you're meant to receive. Go watch that video. It will carry on from here and explain a lot more to you. Otherwise, thank you so much for being here. I hope this one helps you. There's work you need to be doing and you need to become the Queen of Wands, male or female energy, so that your messages can get through at this time. There's 8 billion people on this world. And there's only a very small group of people who have the right knowledge to share with those 8 billion. There's not even a billion people that have the information, not even, maybe a million, maybe now, not even, who have the right knowledge to get to the rest of this world. So you are part of that, that information needs to get out. There's 8 billion people who need to hear it. <laughs> there we go. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys next time. Bye.